Phineas and Ferb, the two brothers who are always looking for a way to spend those 104 days of summer vacation before school comes along just to end it. But the annual problem for our generation is asking if Phineas and Ferb are good characters. Their biggest strength is a combination of their intellect, ingenuity, and creativity. Other boy genius characters like Dexter and Jimmy Neutron seem to shy away from right brain creative thinking. They build devices and gadgets that directly aid them, while Phineas and Ferb focus on building fun contraptions like giant tire swings or a cheese-themed amusement park. Phineas and Ferb prove that STEM doesn't have to be all cut, dry, and boring. And while they show the spicy side of science, Phineas and Ferb never run into any major conflicts. Phineas and Ferb are stagnant because they never change or question themselves. Kids need to see their favorite character struggle because it helps build resiliency. Feelings of doubt or being self-conscious are relatable issues that Phineas and Ferb don't experience. Or did Doofenshmirtz create a self-doubtinator? That's why a character like Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls is a much more interesting character than Phineas and Ferb. We actually watch Dipper grow as he overcomes challenges, while the biggest challenge for Phineas and Ferb is asking, Hey, where's Perry? Hell, even SpongeBob has to stand up to bullies every once in a while. Another great thing about Phineas and Ferb is that they try to make friends with a lot of different people and create things for everyone to enjoy. It would have been easy just to write someone like Buford off as a typical bully, but instead, Phineas and Ferb brought him into their inner circle. Without Phineas and Ferb, I doubt that two people like Buford and Baljeet would ever hang out. But that's what Phineas and Ferb do. They bring people together. And that's pretty cool that Phineas and Ferb can unite so many different people. Phineas and Ferb create things for other people. While Dexter and Jimmy Neutron made stuff that made their lives easier, Phineas and Ferb wanted to enrich the community. They used their talents to give back like when they built that roller coaster or hosted their own circus. Their involvement in the lives of others is something we should all strive for in ourselves. So where do Phineas and Ferb fall on the spectrum of good kids cartoon character? They're right near the middle, nudging closer to the side of positive. While Phineas and Ferb are thoughtful and smart, their lack of a struggle holds them back. Without seeing how they overcome real adversity, I can't rank them any higher.